Hello, my name is Yuji, and I will be teaching ACT math throughout the course. I'd like to take some time to explain what ACT math is and how to approach in terms of solving questions. ACT math is generally not that hard, so you have to ace the math test in order to make some mistakes on other sections like reading, English, and science. It is always the time management that students struggle with while taking the test. So if you could overcome the pressure of solving questions within a given amount of time, I'm sure you won't have any problems acing the test. You should not, however, think that you know everything about math. Just like other sections, math has its own pattern. And you will see some tricky questions that can hinder you from getting 36 on the test. Okay, so now let's talk about the format. Math has 60 questions given in 60 minutes. You can use a calculator, so don't waste your time calculating on your head. If you know a formula, use it right away. If the question is so obvious that you can just get the answer by looking at the answer choices, why bother reading the questions? Just go straight to the answer choices. Sometimes graphs, geometry drawings, tables, or XY coordinated planes indicate what to solve for. Memorize the important formulas, equations you often see in the ACT math test. Questions tend to go from easier to more difficult, so try to spend no more than 25 minutes on the first 30 questions. First 30 questions won't be too hard to solve in 25 minutes. There won't be any penalty for guessing, so do some educated guesses. When you do not understand what the questions are asking, it is wise that you plug in the values. Do not take much time on each question. Try to eliminate wrong answer choices. You should practice not to make careless errors. By practicing, you can find the patterns and get used to the test format. I highly recommend you to plug in the values you see in the answer choices, as I said earlier and select the right one. I will briefly go over with the main six parts of the ACT math test in the next five lectures. So they are pre-algebra, it's 23%, elementary algebra, 17%, intermediate algebra, 15%, coordinate geometry, 15%, plane geometry, 23%, and lastly, trigonometry, 7%. It is very crucial to solve questions on your own and go over them with me. I highly recommend you to time yourself to see how many questions you can solve in 60 minutes. If you can solve all the questions within 60 minutes, well done. Then you should work on improving accuracy. If you run out of time while solving questions, then you should work on time management. I'm going to go over five sets of math tests with you, and there will be four lectures on the main topics that you see in ACT math test. I hope this orientation helped you to grasp what ACT math is all about. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!